Uh, Gamer J Lee here and welcome back to another video and while I was away on vacation there was a little bit of Halo news that did come out nothing big nothing ground shattering but something that got a little bit of a buzz and discussion going around the Halo community and that was the reveal of a brand new mark slash ping system coming in Halo Infinite now this news broke through the employee spotlight of andrew witz lead multiplayer designer for halo infinite and there was a lot in this basically more so labeling what he is responsible for and his contributions to halo and halo infinite but the one thing that stuck out to a lot of people was the announcement of this brand new mark system in halo infinite and this is what it actually had to say and the mark system which is a feature where players can mark a spot in the world that lets their teammates know vital information like an enemy position or weapon location that is basically how it's implemented in many different games whether that is warzone whether that is fortnite whether that is apex legends a game that i'm very familiar with and has its own ping system that you guys know about if you've watched any of my videos on apex legends here on the channel or over on my second channel gamer bite now this started a bit of a buzz and discussion going throughout the halo community that day some people only want this in casual play some people want in both competitive and casual play and there was a lot of back and forth discussion no real anger or hostility between people in the community but it was still a pretty strong conversation going around on what this would be best suitable for and how extensive these pings will actually get which unfortunately we don't know we don't know really anything about the ping system besides that it will mark locations like enemy position or weapon locations. We don't know the amount of information it will give. I don't like to speculate, but I do think that this is a good addition to Halo Infinite. It is in a lot of games, but as long as it isn't abused, it shouldn't be a big deal or if it doesn't give too much information away. And I'm personally for a ping system being added to Halo Infinite. I think it's a great way to get people out of their shell and actually doing some sort of call out instead of just being another silent teammate. But you have no idea how many times I've either gone into casual MCC or competitive MCC and got nothing but dead air nothing but dead comms no information nothing that can actually help me win the match and this is going to be a tool not a necessity not something that players have to rely on that i think will help with that issue i mean right now i am currently trying to get my 15 wins in the competitive halo 4 squad battle or whatever it's called so i can unlock the items for this season in mcc well one of the biggest issue is is i go in there i make sure my comms are on and set to team only but all i get is dead air either that or someone who's blaring music through their goddamn microphone this definitely it can be frustrating and one thing i want this to be is a tool that doesn't give too much information but gives enough that it actually helps like enemy position or weapon location like the actual article says i don't want it to give me enemy position plus what weapon they're carrying i want it to just give me the ping of the enemy's general facility i don't want it to give me a spawn pad where it tells me the timer and what weapon spawns there i want it to maybe locate a weapon if it's spawned on a spawn pad and ping that off to me or if there's a weapon on the ground give me the information on where it is the general facility i wouldn't have it to the point where it tells you if it got picked up maybe have it up there for a few seconds maybe five to ten but that's just about it i want to be a tool for communication not something that gives off too much information like grenade hit markers you know the constant complaint that we've had about hit markers with halo grenades they give off way too much information they give you the location of the enemy they give you that they're damaged i want the ping slash mark system to be a tool and not 
a necessity not something that you rely on like a crutch to be competitive in halo more so something for people that don't want to use xbox live chat or don't want to have comms on but basically want to still help their team succeed in winning the match the other nitpicky thing that i'm kind of worried about is that you have 12 players on a team and you're going to have everyone in their mother probably pinging in big team battle i have a subject in view right here spotted one close so I'm really hoping that this can either be turned off or that you can mute people that are constantly spamming the pings. Now, I also maybe would recommend having some sort of cooldown if there's a player that's constantly spamming it. I mean, the reason why it doesn't really get annoying in games like Apex Legends is because you're only dealing with three players doing it. You have yourself and your two teammates seems simple imagine 12 players in a match of big team battle spamming every object location and weapon in the general area i don't think that's going to be very fun to deal with especially whenever you probably are gonna have marker after marker on your screen and again this is something that a good friend of mine bhb brought up i hope that it does not just muddle the hud and, and have all these markers on your screen where it just ruins the clean aesthetic of what we've loved about halo's hud again i can't say much until we actually get the ping system and we get to use it in the upcoming flight or when the game comes out but the one thing i will say is that i don't think it's going to be a bad thing and if it does become too much of an intrusive item that people are going to be abusing or is going to give up too much information there is the option of tweaking it that's why having a flight this close which they've been teasing it a lot recently they've been mentioning it a lot on twitter that's why i think that this is going to be so important this upcoming flight and testing out these new features that we're going to be known for when halo infinite drops later this year this is probably a great feature but again we're just gonna have to wait and see once we get it in our hands and we get to play the flight or when the actual game comes out because again this is a games as a service model it can be adjusted it can be fixed it can be approved upon or dumbed down depending on what players find necessary whenever it comes to this game but that's really all i can say for now one thing i will say is i'm very glad to be back home i'm glad to be making videos and doing live streams which i will be doing one today probably around six o'clock p.m pst talking about more than likely the ping system some halo news and playing some apex legends so we'll talk about that we'll hang out we'll have a good time make sure that you guys drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it it does help me in the algorithm and get this video out to more people to hear this take but also so make sure to leave your own take down in the comment section down below i would love to see a conversation continue down there and let me know what you think what is your ideal opinion of how the mark slash ping system should work and what kind of things do you think it should give for information should there be less information should be more simplistic like i'm saying what do you think let me know down in the comment section down below but as always guys thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys next time gamer j lee signing out Saga!